Uh, this is a short video on simulations and going to go through an example of a simulation and show a few different ways to set up how to do a simulation with uh, random digits, etc. What is a simulation? Well, basically it's an imitation of some kind of chance behavior. We often are going to use random numbers to help us uh, with the simulation and go according to the probability that is chosen. Uh, why would we use a simulation? Um, for many problems that we're going to be doing a simulation, it would be very unrealistic for us to carry that out. Uh, say if we're going to buy um, boxes of cereal to see how many we might need before we get all prizes, it would be really uh, not a good idea to keep buying boxes of cereal and then what would we do with the leftovers. Uh, so we're going to take a look at that example. A cereal box contains one of six different prizes. You wish to carry out a simulation to estimate the number of boxes of cereal you would need to buy before you get all six prizes. Describe the setup that you might use to help carry out the simulation. Okay, I would encourage you to um, pause the video right now and write down one possible way that you might carry out the simulation and then I'm going to show you three different methods that we could use. Okay, let's take a look at a first method we might use. Uh, since there are six different prizes, we could just use a standard number cube record how many rolls it takes to get all six numbers, and repeat that process ten times. So we'd try to roll the dice, record how many times it takes before we roll all six numbers. It could be six times at the minimum, or it could be um, 30, 40, 50 times. We're just going to do this process ten times and see what it looks like. That is option number one. Option number two, we could use a graphing calculator. Um, Usually the graphing calculators do have a random number generator and assign the calculator to give you a random number between 1 and 6. We need to record how many numbers we need to generate before we get all six numbers. So you have to keep track of that uh, somehow. And then repeat that whole process 10 different times. So this is just an alternative to using dice. That uh, works really the same way. And we just got to keep track of how many times we press that uh, generator to get until we get all six numbers. Option three would be using a random digits table. Um, random digits tables typically are set up with uh, groups of five random digits in rows, and then you would keep moving across the rows in some fashion or another. Uh, below you see kind of a partial list of a random table. Uh, what you would have to do is assign the digits, say one through six to represent the six different prizes. There are other numbers involved, uh, seven, eight, nine, and zero. We need to define that those are ones that we would skip over because they would not designate a prize. And then we need to record how many numbers we get before we get all six numbers and repeat that process ten times, for, for instance. Uh, here is an example of how we use the random digits table to carry out one trial for this situation. Okay, The numbers with dots above them are numbers one through six. That means we purchased a box of cereal and it had that numbered prize in it. Uh, so the ones that are crossed out, the zeros, sevens, eights, and nines, we ignore those. And we keep looking at all numbers until we've seen all the digits between one and six. So it, in this particular trial, which is highlighted in green, it took 12 boxes of cereal. And now you can see that it would be pretty unrealistic to purchase 12 boxes of cereal just to try to get those prizes and then turn around that's only one trial and have to do this say two or three hundred times. That would be uh, an awful lot of cereal. Hopefully uh, these three methods that were shown give you uh, an idea of what you might be able to do to carry out a simulation. Um, biggest thing to keep in mind is that you do have to define it in a way that the probability of getting the random numbers matches the probability in the situation. Thank you.